everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have the Snow Build Challenge from BitLife. So starting off, I decided to go the Sugar Daddy route to get some money because we're going to need quite a bit of money for this challenge. Um, also, really quick, I am doing this entire video off of my phone on CapCut. So if sound and video is a little bit different, I apologize, but that would be why. But then we um, emigrated to Aruba, which I just kept going until it popped up. We bought a houseboat and then we hopped in here and we purchased a few other houses with what I could afford at the time. I will say that I married probably four or five different people in this life to help out with money. Um, we also had to go in and do some home improvements and some upgrades, which is through one of the BitLife expansion packs, but I can't remember what one. Is it the landlord one? Is that what it's called? So you do need that pack to be able to do this challenge here. But as you'll see, I'm just going in and we are um, adding all potential upgrades that we possibly can. Uh, another little small disclaimer, if you can hear my dryer going, I apologize. I didn't plan on doing this entire video on my phone and I know that my phone picks up things more than some other things, so that's a little unfortunate. But uh, we are just going in and we are renting out because that is what we need to do for part of this challenge. And I'm going to say now before we really get into this video, since this is a little bit of a longer one, which I'm going to be completely honest with you, it's a little bit longer for not really like a whole lot of reason. It's kind of really just like a lot of home improvement stuff. Um, but the villa that you need at the end costs, I think, like five million. So if you want to go like the fame route and like make sure that you are making some bank, I highly recommend that because I truly think that would have saved me some time. And because of not knowing how much the villa actually like costs, I had a haunted one pop up and it was like for five million and I only had like two million at the time. So I couldn't even do like a mortgage on it. Um, I had to go in and like wait and like age up and marry more people and like try and make money the best that I could. So yeah, I highly recommend going the fame route if that is something that you feel like doing for this challenge because I truly do think that it will save you quite a bit of time with this. I apologize. I'm not really like talking a whole lot about like the video because this stuff here is like all me just like upgrading and adding tenants because you need to have five. So that is really about like all this is. I probably could have cut a lot of this out, but I wanted to show you everything just because I felt like it would be kind of like too cheaty and skippy if I skip too much. So, um, that was kind of why you're seeing me go in here and do all of this the way that I did. But I do some background checks every now and then. They're not something that I required, but sometimes it's good to know just a little bit more information, especially if you're in a situation when you are like having to do lawsuits and stuff like that because people end up squatting. Um, I had to do that a couple of times here. Thankfully, I won all of my lawsuits and everything on those, which was nice. But yeah, so you're seeing I'm just going in and doing upgrades. The smaller the house, the smaller the amount of upgrades, so it saves you some money, which is nice. So if you want to save some money, definitely do like a lot of smaller houses. And that way you can kind of save up a little bit more money for that villa at the end here. Which I think we should, or maybe we're not. We still have at least like one more house to go in and like do things on. I was going to say we might be coming up to the villa. Um, here we are. So I went ahead and skipped a little bit. So here's the private villa that I went ahead and bought. As you can see, it was expensive. My husband at the time in this life was not happy about it, but guess who didn't care because I need it for the challenge. So we went hopped in and we went in and upgraded it. So some things are more costly than others if you play this right because it is a maximum capacity of eight upgrades. Some things are cheaper than others so you can save money and I was able to actually do this with only a million dollars to my name. So that was kind of nice. But, um, yeah, we're not really doing, like, a whole lot here. You're seeing I'm just going in doing upgrades. If I don't like the contractor, I will look for a new one. Some things I just don't feel are worth the time. Some things I misclick on. You'll see all of that kind of here. But that's kind of really about it because this is really the end of the challenge. If you, like, as soon as you finish, like, upgrading all of this, you're kind of good to go. So we're just going to, I think we have four, three or four more, three by the looks of it. So you're seeing that I'm just going in here, adding things. None of it really mattered to me all too much. 
but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically four times a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Let me know if the quality of anything's like messed up on this video because I truly don't have a single clue. This is all very new to me with editing on my phone, and it's probably not something I'm going to stick to, but yeah, just let me know. But um, otherwise, that is it for this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye, lovelies!